Jesus practiced what he preached. He forgave to his enemies, even at the time of crucifixion. A new commandment I give you, love your enemies and pray for those who persecute you. On 27th December 1983, St. John Paul II showed us the very meaning of these words of Jesus. With the historic forgiveness visit paid to Muhammad Ali Agha for his attacker. In prison two years after he survived from the fatal assassination attack on him on 13th May 1981. The Pope said that the teaching of Christ instructed him to forgive Agha. Pope John Paul II is often described as a true believer of forgiveness and compassion. He did not only preach about forgiveness, but he lived a life of forgiveness until his death. The healing power of love, even the most wounded heart can experience the liberating encounter with forgiveness. Jesus practiced what he preached. He forgave to his enemies, even at the time of crucifixion, which was the most painful circumstances of his life. In Gospel of Luke, Chapter 23, verse 34. Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. Jesus emphasizes the importance of forgiveness throughout his teaching. In 1 John chapter 4, verse 20, we read, If anyone says, Love God and hates his brother, he is a liar. For he who does not love his brother, whom he has seen, can it love God, whom he has not seen? Again in Luke chapter 6 verse 32 If you love those who love you, what credit is that to you? For even sinners love those who love them. Again in Matthew 5 23-24 If you are offering your gift at the altar and there remember that your brother has something against you, leave your gift there before the altar and go. First be reconciled to your brother and then come and offer your gift. We find the saying of Jesus to love your enemies as a new and strange teaching, which no one dares to speak. All these sayings of Jesus shows us who truly Jesus is. Jesus as God himself, a God who has a heart of full of mercy and love, a heart of humanness. My dear brothers and sisters, if we have in our heart the love of Jesus, then it can remove any obstacles which blocks us to love God and neighbor. We will be able to transcend the realities of our bitterness that we have towards others. It is only His grace and love that can help us to do it. Today, in a special way, let us pray that the time we fail to love and forgive our enemies, let us ask the grace of Jesus which can surely help us to have the attitude of forgiveness towards others. As John Paul II says, we all need to be forgiven by others. So, we must all be ready to forgive. Asking and granting forgiveness is something profoundly worth of every one of us. Amen. <music>